Tonight, the ABC 7i team and ABC News finding out what may have happened to some of those plastic bags after they were turned into the proper recycling bins at stores nationwide. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles is here with what he's uncovering tonight. Jason. Rob Cheryl, you may try to recycle plastic bags by bringing them to a retailer's special recycling bin. The I team and ABC News tracked plastic bags that we dropped off at store bins around the country. Several ended up in landfills or incinerators. You can't recycle plastic bags in regular recycling bins or they'll get stuck in machines at recycling facilities like this one. But how often do bags that are dropped off properly at retail stores get recycled? The I-Team, ABC News and stations across the country assembled 46 bundles of recyclable plastic bags, each containing a tracking device. All right, we glued it down. It's nice and secure. We wrapped up the air tagged bag in several other plastic bags. All of the bags were dropped off at Target and Walmart stores nationwide, which have hundreds of stores with plastic bag drop off bins. At the end of January, we dropped off four sets of bags in Chicago and surrounding suburbs. We monitored the movements and locations for months via the trackers glued inside. One of our air tag plastic bags that we dropped off at a Target ended up here in Wilmington at a landfill about 60 miles southwest of Chicago. The company that runs the landfill says there is no plastic bag recycling program here. That bag was originally dropped off at this River North Target. Seeing it like right in front of your face, it's not, um, it's kind of disappointing. It's actually very surprising. A second bag dropped off at Target on the city's southwest side ended up at this waste management facility in Cicero. We're going to go into the office and see if they recycle plastic bags. A waste management media spokesperson says trash and recyclables are sorted here, but there is not metal detection sorting that would separate the tracker, and there is no plastic bag recycling program here. A Target spokesperson says our intention is to make it easy for our guests to recycle clean and empty plastic bags and packaging in our stores. Last year, we recycled nearly 24 million pounds of plastic bags and plastic film materials. Target also said we're committed to looking at our processes to improve our recycling efforts. A third plastic bag dropped off at a Walmart in West Suburban Elmhurst ended up at this landfill near Atkinson, Illinois, about two and a half hours west of Chicago. A spokesperson says the facility does not have a plastic bag recycling program. And our fourth bag dropped off at a North Suburban Gurney Walmart was tracked to this industrial park in Northwest Suburban Elk Grove Village where we found good news. Someone at the front desk did tell me that they do recycle plastic bags. Walmart says it's helped remove over 2 billion single-use bags from circulation, and we are also pursuing initiatives to reduce the use of single-use plastic, including plastic bags, and working with policymakers, waste management companies, nonprofits, and other retailers to reduce demand for single-use plastic bags. In all, ABC News and other ABC stations launched 46 trackers, 23 of them last pinged at landfills or trash incinerators, seven last stopped pinging at transfer stations that don't recycle or sort plastic bags. Another six last pinged at the store where they were dropped off. It's unclear where three ended up. And three trackers were shipped to the other side of the world, Southeast Asia. Four trackers ended up at facilities involved with recycling plastic bags. People should keep recycling their metal, their glass, their paper. The plastic recycling has been an abysmal failure. Because of our joint investigation, the company that manages the online drop-off directory for plastic bags is taking action. That company says it removed Walmart and Target stores from their list until they can confirm that the plastic bags and films dropped off in their bins are being recycled rather than landfilled or incinerated. Now, Rob Sherrill, it is always good to try to recycle, but what I say to do and experts say to do is use this. <laughs> a reusable bag because then you don't have to worry about plastic bags. Okay. You know, it really is sad overall. The plastic recycling rate in the U.S. is under 10 percent. Those numbers are concerning. You know, you yeah. hear it's the thought that matters. In this case, that doesn't help.
they got to do what they're saying they're doing. Right, and that's your effort. You're going to the store mm -hmm. with the bag. So eye-opening and revealing. And thank you for the advice on that. Yeah. Always. Great Every research, too. Bag. Really good information. A lot more on this story. You can stream mm -hmm. the full ABC News investigation, Trashed, The Secret Life of Plastic Recycling, tomorrow night at 7.30 on ABC News Live. You can also stream it later on Hulu. So very interesting. Let's talk about our marvelous Monday weather. It was simply gorgeous today. I